what's happening, bro. So, we are out here getting prepared for this. We about to go in, bro. I didn't pick the best knife for this, but it is what it is. I purposely did not take an ice bath earlier, so I could purposely take an ice bath right now on video, and it's a little bit windy, but we're going to get the job done. I'm not going to do it in this video. It's going to be the next video. This is pre-game, so stay tuned to the next video for sure, because I'm going to be in an ice bath while we're on video, and it's going to be cold as hell, especially at this time of night. I just want to talk to you guys about this topic right quick and preset this up as well. In the meantime, I don't know if you guys can see the ice tub or the ice bath right now. It is literally right here. Camera's probably too high. You probably can't see it, but it's right here. Whenever I actually do this video, I'm going to take the camera and put it down lower so you can actually see the damn thing and get me getting in it, but. There's a little bit of water in the bottom. I'm going to tip it right now. Tire floor. Yeah, man, this video we're going to talk about uh, making people pay because they have to. So there, I just emptied it. Now ready to fill this up. Just be patient because I'm gonna get this prepared this video and the next video we're going in. But yeah, man. When it comes to the people in this world, a lot of people's gonna go that. A lot of people's gonna go against you, a lot of people's gonna do some wicked shit past friends, so-called friends, so-called colleagues, co-workers, family, etc., etc. Not so nice things is going to happen to all of us, and this is what happens, bro, when you have escaped the matrix. This is what happens when you are above most of the world. And literally talking about it, I just bit my cheek because that's kind of how it feels, you know, <laughs> quite literally. And these are all individuals, you know, that just because who we become, they, just, they, they decide to stab us in the back, they decide to do us dirty. And it makes no logical sense, but then you have to ask yourself, are these individuals really logical themselves? No, they're not. They will do us dirty until the time is done. They can, just, they can never just be cool with us. We're like the most easiest going people on earth. And no matter what, they'll just never be on board with us regardless of anything. Because of what we want to do. So these are the individuals that you're not going to aim to get back at. You're just going to keep improving your life and keep improving as a human being. And karma is going to come back full round, full circle. I'm just going to catch them when they're off guard. So... That's the best revenge. And this world in general, bro, is going nuts. <sighs> Absolutely insane. That's why I like to keep a, a strict, solid mind frame and just stay busy and productive doing the right things. Like, these individuals will never be able to live a life with such peace and blessings, bro. They'll never be able to do it. Never. And they hate the fact that you can do it. They hate the fact... That, that you've you're just that guy aren't you you're just that girl aren't you professional 
you're living the life people dream of and they simply can't. This is why they simply hate. They've been hating since day one. They're even hating more now and it's just how it kind of goes, right? Because when you move a certain way, bro, people kind of know and have an idea of what you're doing. They might not know exactly if it's going to work, if it's going to happen, but they don't like that you're going for bigger and better things. They want you to be stuck, miserable, not feeling good, not being accomplished, not living out your purpose. They don't want you to do these things. So these are the individuals you must pay back just by continuously going forward because you're not meant to be back there, bro. People have such a hard time in making that transition and going full force down their path and purpose. People, I know a lot of people have such a hard time doing it, bro. They're kind of stuck in between and it's like you have to make that decision, bro, to really go full out and leave the idiots behind because idiots are going to be idiots. And there's nothing we can do. We've all been there. We've tried to save them. We try to tell them the truth, how things actually work. And they're just not going to listen. So what can you do? Not much. And they're the same people that try to find any lame ass excuse to just go against us because deep down they're extremely jealous and envious of us. They don't want to work with us. They don't want to be around us. They don't want to talk to us. They just, they just exist, don't they? They're just who they are, aren't they? You can't mend with them. You can't come up with an idea. They're so stubborn. And it just blows my mind, bro, because, like, I'm the polar opposite. I pray to God to link up with better people even sooner than I have. And it's still not fully where I want it to be, but it's something that's going to continuously improve. And these individuals can have all the chances to be around a person that's hard working, that's going to go somewhere in life, and they won't. They will not take it. They will not surround themselves with that person. That person was me, bro. People had many opportunities to work with me, to hustle with me, to come out, to come up ideas with me, and they just can't. They just don't want to do it. They're not committed. They're not ready to make that shift. Will they ever be? I don't think. They're not fully in it to win it. They're not in it. They don't want to be in it. They want to be a part of the matrix. They're not ready for these conversations. They're not ready for the real shit. They never will be. They're just not built like that. It's not in their birthright. They would rather follow everybody else and do what everybody else does and where is that going to get you, bro? Where everybody else is at? But if you follow people who's winning in life, if you follow people who's doing the damn thing, proven results time after time after time, and have actually achieved things in life and have done impressive things in life, then you will be the next if you follow those people, if you get in with those people. But you're not going to do it if you don't get in with those people. I am fortunate enough to have the internet. I could surround my mind with people who I wanted to surround my mind with since a young age. I didn't need people in my community. I said, F them all. And the moment I said F them all is when shit hit the fan. That's when I said that. I didn't just make the decision. Everything so perfectly fine. Everything was a mess. And that's when I knew. You know what? I don't even feel guilty for saying F them all because look what y'all have done to me. Nothing nice. <laughs> and that's the thing, right? That's the thing. People make it easy, bro. People make it, and, and that's good. People make it easy for you to leave. People make it easy for you to put your foot down. And that's good. I absolutely love people who get it, and I cannot stand those who don't. They're nothing more than a walking pylon of nothing. Like, they will do you more harm than good, and nothing good is ever going to come out of it. These are people you cannot trust. These are people you cannot tell anything to. You tell them something, and it's going to be everywhere. 
they will steal from you. They will backbite you. These are the same individuals. This has never happened to me necessarily, but I used to have like a couple friends and they went behind each other's backs with the same girl and it's like childhood best friends are no longer even friends. They're, they're now enemies because of one girl. I had situations where, yeah, maybe a friend and me was dealing with a girl, but it's not like it wasn't intentional. It wasn't at the same time. And we didn't even know. So it was nothing too crazy, but there's there's situations bro, where they, they knew damn well they were doing each other dirty. And the thing is, how can you trust people like that, right? Those are the folks you have to get away from, bro, and you have to make them pay. Because one day they're going to look back and they're going to be like, damn, that guy was solid. That guy was a good friend. That guy could have helped me lots in life. He could have served me. He could have he could have been the reason that we had so many good times, but it's never going to happen now because of their stupidity and not being able to see ahead of time. So like I said, man, these are the individuals you have to pay back by just not aiming towards them, but just aiming further into your destiny. Focus on the path, focus on the purpose, focus on the mission. The girls that kind of curved you, right? Whenever you wanted them, they didn't want you. They wanted you a little bit, but you wanted them more and it didn't work out and boom, you're gonna come back. They're gonna want you so desperately bad and you're not gonna give them a shot because there's people that are, there, there's women that's more deserving than them. You're no longer interested the way you were. Things could have worked out. If you guys built together, bro, how can you even be in like in a relationship or a connection with a female when she lived so much of her life without you she went through all these trials and tribulations all this baggage and now she wants to link up with you get the fuck out of here with that man what that don't even make sense bro you're supposed to like come up with people bro you're supposed to come up with people you're supposed to have your girl and come up with your girl and this is exactly why older, successful guys are going to end up with younger, attractive women. Because it's a good fit. Because these older, attractive guys have spent years and years and years and years and years building themselves up. And these young, attractive girls, they're ready to go. Ask the other ones, they're a bit older, baggage, etc., etc. And it's just not a good bet. Nothing against older ladies, but... If you're an older, attractive man, I'm not even saying like old old like late 20s early 30s your best bet is a younger female who's not going to give you a hassle who's not going to give you a hard time who's not going to come with baggage who's not going to come with these past experiences and this craziness you deserve you have earned it you have put in the work you have earned you deserve to get an easy going woman who's going to kind of what's the word I want for this just kind of tie in with your life and you're going to kind of come up even higher together. That's how it's going to go, bro. That's all it can be. There's nothing else that's that even makes sense. That's what makes sense. Baggage is not attractive, bro. Women who have a lot of past experience, not attractive, bro. That's, <laughs> that's a complete turnoff. And... Some of these modern-day women, bro, they're so delusional. They think they're going to go through all these experiences, university, bouncing up and down on you-know-what, and just catering to you afterwards when they're older. They've drank alcohol. They're in their later teens and early 20s, and they're in their mid-20s now, and late 20s possibly, and they, they're withered. Three times as unattractive, probably four or five times as, as unattractive as they were. And now they have this sense of urgency to get with you. And it's just not how it's going to go. That's not how it goes. At the time, you were completely and utterly deserving of that person when they were their best. And the thing is, they made a damn bad choice. They decided degeneracy. They decided to party. They decided all that kind of bullshit. Over getting with you, over getting with a young, or 
half a uh, half young successful guy who's got all the potential on earth to build up with him to create the best things with him but no you made a terrible decision and this is the reality of how a lot of the the world goes and the world turns and it does not ever end well for these people bro but it ends well for the ones that put in the work and stay true to their purpose stay true to god and that's exactly why bro we gotta make them pay it's not like like i said it's not like we're aiming at these people we don't even give a shit but your success is going to speak volumes. Your success is the revenge. The life you're going to live with the people you're going to live with, that's the revenge. Am I wrong? Is this bad? Does this make me bad? Does this make anybody else bad who thinks this way? And you ladies can, can think of this in a vice versa type of way. Whatever you want to think of it. But this is most certainly not bad. This is how it goes. So... These damn raccoons, bro. I better not see one back here when I'm in an ice bath. <laughs> it's time to turn on this water right now, bro. And in the next video after this one, we're gonna get in. And I'm not sure how well I'm gonna be able to speak while I'm in that damn bath, but we're gonna try. I'll tell you this now, I'm gonna hold it for about 30 seconds before I say a word, cause I wanna get a little bit comfortable in that bath, you know? As soon as you get in, bro, it's a shock. You can't really, it's hard to talk right away. You got to kind of get used to it for a second. But let me turn this on. The water is on. should be fun it's gonna be a hell of an experience who knows how this is gonna turn out but we're going in bro we gotta do the damn thing it's all these hard things bro at the end of the day that it's it's what pays off you'd be surprised what could happen to your life if you just decide to do the hard things even when you don't want to do you think i necessarily want to take an ice bath at this time of night it is past 1 a.m on a tuesday night That's going to take about six to eight minutes to fill up. And like I said, we're not doing this video. It's the next video, so be prepared, bro, because we're going in. But yeah, man, to end this video, one more rant, I guess. No matter what, bro, stay true to yourself. No matter what happens, because you know how many people in the world, bro, something happens to them. And I know people who had a lot of talent and capabilities that one little thing would happen to them, bro, and they just completely veer off somewhere else and do other things, and it's not who they were. And it creates this, it creates this effect in your life where you start not being who you are. You start to act how other people treat you, and this is what you cannot let happen. You have to be in the moment. You have to be living in the complete and utter moment every single day of your life to the best of your ability and not want to be like the people who have done you wrong. This even happens to women, brother. The smallest things might happen to a woman and she's going to now become an HOE because the guy she was with cheated on her. So she thinks now, oh, I'm going to start cheating because he did it to me and I'm going to get him back by sleeping with his friends. That just makes you much less valuable than you were. But if you were to just take the heartache, heal, improve yourself, build yourself up, you become 10 million times more attractive. That guy that cheated on you was probably going to come back. You're going to reject him. You're going to get better and live happily ever after. But if you just become an HOE, you shoot yourself in the foot. 
and you become even less more appealing. And that man will forever have power over you because you lost, you retaliated. And that's not how it goes. That's not what you should ever do. <laughs> even vice versa. In my situation, the littlest things happen to me, bro, even with like friends, a past girl, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I didn't want to get back at them or do anything crazy. Like, I just set myself straight in life. And it's like, you know what? Mm hmm. That shit happened. So now, I'm going to go on my path and purpose and I'm going to reign supreme. And these people are going to be sorry they've ever done me wrong. I'll tell you that right now. And it's exactly what happened. Here I am today, continuing on my path and purpose. Damn near 10 years in a row. And success is the best revenge. This is what happens when you stay true to yourself, when you stay clean, when you just do the right things. It's nothing more than a blessing. and It's, it's not like it's this easy journey, but it's worth it. A lot of people crumble. A lot of people, like I said, they are very weak spiritually. Little things happen and they just... Whoosh, all of a sudden, they're messing with people way below their standards. Their eyes become black. They lose color in their eyes. Past friends who used to be so amazing, amazing individuals. Bro, the world makes, the world breaks people, bro. This world completely breaks people. You cannot be the person that gets broken from this world. You have to stay true to yourself. You have to stay powerful. You have to do things that empower you. Like, for example, a damn ice bath. It's right here. Can you see it? You can see it, too. Holy shit. You can. But yeah, the hose is in it right now. She's gonna be damn cold, bro. But we're gonna get in. That's the type of shit that almost nobody is willing to do just out of nowhere, bro. People even in sports, when they do it, they need a team around them and all this shit. We are right here, bro. Where's the team? Where's the team? Is there anybody else? Maybe a damn raccoon that's running around somewhere. I don't know. But I do this shit every single day by myself. Every single day. Ever since I got it. Didn't miss a day. And I promise you guys, I will do this on video, which is exactly what we're gonna do next video and it's gonna be brilliant. I don't know how I'm gonna be able to speak while I'm in it, but <laughs> we're gonna try. The main thing is, is I'm getting in the damn bath on video. Now, I've already done it on my Instagram. If you guys ain't follow my Instagram, follow, my, follow me on Instagram. It's a fairly warm night. It's like 20 degrees Celsius, which it might be a lot warmer where some of you guys live, but 20 degrees Celsius where I'm from in the nighttime, it's pretty damn warm. It's just a little bit windy is all. Yeah, man, this is going to be brilliant. It's going to be serious. I will bring this camera closer in the next video so you guys can see more. I'm excited for this, bro. I like a challenge. Fill that shit with ice which is uh, what I'll do on video as well. I'll start talking to you guys first and let the ice sit in it for a bit because that's how you get at the coldest. You don't put the ice in and get in right away. What you do is you put the ice in it, let it sit for about four or five minutes, and then the ice starts to kind of cool the water even more. It starts to melt a little bit. But yeah, man, it's all about staying true to your morals. Stay true to the person you are. You can't take me out, bro. People have tried to literally bury me alive bro people try to do the craziest shit to me before and you live and you learn you don't think people is capable of those things until they actually do it and then it's like that's a wake-up call you can very you can only trust a very small amount of people and I, I think you have to be very close with your people that's what it's all about bro it's about being close with your people and being on the same page not letting things get weird because if things are get like let's say you're on the same page as somebody else and things are starting to get weird and they veer off and they start to act at a at a character, then things are getting shady, bro. So it's about staying super close to your people, having good communication, and conquer this world together. You know, I believe 
everybody on earth the best way to go is to get in these small groups form a small group that's what everybody should do and it's honestly kind of what we have here on YouTube is a small group and I'll forever show up forever as long as YouTube is here bro I'll be showing up all the time but yeah man that's what I recommend to everybody regardless of what happens to you bro don't turn dark. Don't get back at people. Don't go crazy. Don't lose yourself. If you get broken, allow yourself to feel the way you feel and start to really think critically and logically and build yourself back up in the best version of yourself that can possibly exist. That is the only answer. Any other answer, incorrect. That is the only answer. It's the best answer. There might be another answer, but it's not going to be the greatest. So you got the greatest answer here. Even if it's your family, even if it's your, if it's your friends, a past person. Just kind of allow what happened to happen. And just, as much as it angers you, just kind of keep that in and put it towards something valuable. Turn that fuel into, into positivity. Put it into something great. For me, the gym was the best outlet because I exploded in the gym, bro, and got just super jacked. Like instantly, because uh, I was already in good shape. So for me to take my diet serious, training serious, get these workout programs down pat, finish the workouts, mental toughness. I had every tool to get jacked as fast as possible, and I did it quite easily. That's something else people envy about me, bro. Is I can get super jacked very easily. Super good genetics, super good mindset, naturally smart when it comes to just sports, athletics, and all that kind of stuff. So. It's something that's easy to me. It's easy to be sharp. It's easy to show up every day. It's not something that's hard. It's, it's like brushing my teeth. It's really not hard at all. It's not hard to lift heavy ass weights. It's not hard to get jacked. <laughs> not me. But yeah, man, we're about to close this video. very close to being done filled up so I'm gonna end this video so I can shut off this hose and I'm gonna get the ice I'll show you guys on video on the next video I'll be putting the ice and we'll talk for a second then I'm gonna get in it's gonna be cold bro stay tuned